Buy Better Living. Spend some time with Nurse Shar for honest and healing conversation about the benefits, challenges, and real-life struggles of living healthy, well, fit, and free. Real discussion for real people who want real change. My Better Living. This podcast is being broadcast on Power Plug Radio, home of your throwback jams. You can download Power Plug Radio app on Google Play or the Apple iStore. Don't forget to subscribe to the Power Plug Radio YouTube, where you can catch My Better Living live every Tuesday night. And visit www.powerplugradio.com to find out how you can sponsor the next episode. You're listening to Power Plug Radio. Home of your throwback jams. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of My Better Living. Um, this is episode nine. And this week, actually, today is International Women's Day. So it's only fitting that episode nine is dedicated to discussion about women's health and what we need to do as women to really just get all of this in balance. So shout out to everyone who's watching live right now on Power Plug Radio YouTube, as well as those who, like I like to say, understood the assignment and they downloaded the Power Plug Radio app or they said, Alexa, play Power Plug Radio and they are now listening live on the radio. It is March and you heard last week that we are all about um, you are what you you are what you eat. If I could say that in one full <laughs> sentence. You are what you eat. So we are going to stay on that theme this month. This is your girl, Nurse Shar. I am joined by... Patricia Ali. Hey, y'all. Hey. My wonderful co-host. And we have two wonderful guests. Um, one guest was here with us last month, and she's returned. Yes. Go ahead and introduce yourself, guest. Thanks for having me back. I am Ayara Sunray Ma'at from Yummy Wellness Living. And, of course, she brought the yummy... <laughs> Smoothies. So good. Yummy wellness brought a yummy smoothie that yeah, it was like I'm on the phone. <laughs> yeah, she, it's 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 no more. Already, um yeah. and our guest, Miss Lola Benet. Go ahead and yes. introduce yourself. Well, greetings. Good evening, everyone. I'm Nicole Lola Benet Houston of LBL Holistic Health and Wellness. Um, I'm sorry I missed you guys the last month, but I'm so happy to be here. Um, just a little bit about my company since I wasn't able to talk about it before. Um, I own a health and wellness company and we provide services and goods for your mind, body, and spirit. Um, I'm a licensed massage therapist. I've been in this field for a over 10 years, but my business is just under three years old. And um, I'll talk a little bit more about my services and, and stuff throughout the night. So For I'm sure. I'm happy to be here with y'all. This week, the Nurses Station, we're focused on women's health. We're also going to get to know a little bit more about LBL, um, holistic wellness. As a matter of fact, I was talking about you the other day um, to somebody who doesn't know you, but I was telling them that I remember when I first met you, it was around this time of year. And um, you were selling these teas mm -hmm. that were supposed to be good for sort of cleansing yourself. Because now's the time there's a lot of pollen in the air. Mm -hmm. And everyone, the allergies are on swole, like pun intended. Mm -hmm. Everybody is sneezing. It is, the pollen is ridiculous here in Florida. And I remembered you and the teas. And I said to myself, I need some tea because I was so stuff up on was it Sunday it was it was just a little bit ridiculous mm -hmm. so I thought about you and I ran into someone and they were experiencing the same thing I said you know where's Lola when you need her <laughs> <laughs> I'm here, the tea. here tonight <laughs> so I have to know though mm -hmm. what what is what was in the tea that made it so good for clean like you called it like spring cleaning Something. Um, I do have a detox tea, so that one's a little bit different. You can use that anytime. But um, some things that we do use for um, spring, especially like allergies, uh, it's bee pollen and then like locally grown or locally um, harvest honey oh, because okay. it actually helps you to deal with those issues that you're having with the pollen, right? Um, another thing that we use for like respiratory health, um, but you have to make sure that you're not allergic to that mm -hmm. is like chickweed. So, um, that's another herb that I, I utilize too. And it helps me and my son who are 
like we have really bad allergies, but it helps us to kind of eliminate some of those, you know, itchy eyes and, you know, the puffy eyes and all of that kind of those symptoms that you get sometimes with the pollen. So do you just take help. it certain times a year or do you feel like when something's coming on, OK, it's time to brew up something? Yeah. So um, anytime you're using herbs, it is a really good practice to make sure you use them seasonally. So you don't like build up a resistance to it and you want to make sure that you're using them appropriate to the season. Mm -hmm. So um Definitely around springtime, you have different herbs that you would use versus like winter time or fall time. But you definitely want to do a cleanse. Um, and that's another thing, you know, that can help with allergies that people don't really think about. Anytime, you know, you're having allergies, you want to reduce food intake that mm -hmm. might produce more um, mucus. Like, uh, and I know people hate to hear it, but we got to let, you know, the dairy go sometimes. Because yes. it really makes the mucus. I know somebody <laughs> that hit somebody's spirit. They didn't want to hear that. But sometimes you got to let it go if you're not vegan already because it really produces more mucus and you'll like get the phlegm in your throat and in your nose and all of that kind of stuff so detoxing will definitely help during those seasonal changes that we're all kind of going through right now y'all she knows what she's talking about i've read that <laughs> like over years like she knows what she's talking about yeah, it's, it's the truth, and I, I live by this. Like I can tell, you know, I definitely can tell. So if it if it helps me, I'm gonna share it with other people. So you know, as I mentioned, it is Women's International Women's Day, and it was I was so excited to see on the socials so many people just kind of tuned into this day. So many women tuned into this day, really, you know, feeling. Like, you know, damn it, it's my time mm -hmm. and yes. I need to, I need to be, you know, at, in, in good health, in good spirit, you know, I, I, I deserve and I'm worthy of, so I saw a lot of that today and it really made me excited. Um, I don't think I've ever really paid attention to International Women's Day as I do now. And I don't know if just everything is just heightened but what what do you feel like? How do you feel today on International Women's Day? Does it does anything in particular resonate with you? You know, um, with being just you know a woman in twenty twenty two. I heard a deep sigh. <laughs> I, mean, I know it's a lot. It's mm -hmm. like it's like it's like being a superwoman. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, all of you are entrepreneurs. All of you are business women. So um, this one's over here creating new humans every day. <laughs> <laughs> um, literally mm -hmm. um, yeah so yeah let's talk about that because I you know I felt good about and, and knowing that everybody has sort of like a journey that they're on but today was a good day to say you know what mm -hmm. I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna celebrate all my successes and all my lessons yeah. mm -hmm. you know, at least that's for me it was a good day for that yeah I bought a, a purple tulip plant today okay. Okay. Hey. Hey. I said happy uh, International Women's Day. Okay, I like that. And okay. I'm going to name it. Well, I'm going to name it my name on purpose because nice. as I water it and talk to it, it'll be like I'm talking to myself. Oh, like, I you're love You're blossoming. That. You're growing yeah. so blue beautifully. Oh, look at you. You know? Yay. And, yeah. I, and I put that care into the plant and then in turn it puts that care into me. I love it. I like that idea. I love it. I'm a plant mommy, so yes, I resonate yes, with that. Yes, it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> so what kind of plants do you like to grow? Mm. Oh, me? Oh, my gosh. Oh, y'all got to go on my social media and see all my plants in my house. Um, I have a little bit of everything. I only have, like, a little patio outside to have, like, the garden that I want. But I do have a couple of collard green plants, pineapples. Um, I'm getting more into the herbs that I use because that's more sustainable, right? right. So I have, like, basil. I have oregano. I have... I'm, trying ginger okay. it's not popping up like i wanted to but okay. i use it all okay. the time so okay. those are a couple of ones and then i have like of course the um the kudzu vines and stuff like that okay. all in my house like the grandmas have you know yeah. and then i named 
where they just spray it everywhere? Yes, like, yes, oh, yes. Exactly. Yeah. I have um, they call it photo, the um, POTUS, I think, okay. is, is okay. their scientific name or something yeah. like that. So I have those, and I named mine after my ancestors. Oh, that's awesome. So I think that's beautiful. Yeah. You know, as I pour into them, you know, yeah. I get messages yeah. from my, you know, divine yeah. guardian angels. So I resonate with that. But yes. yeah. I planting, like that. keep growth around you. I love that. Yeah. So what are, like, some good plants to... You know, I know that plants are really good. So, Ooh, so me, now you're, me too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I, I so I'm going to tell you a really bad story. Right. So one of my coworkers went um, on vacation. Well, before she went on vacation, she bought me a plant and she said um, she was like, I know you're busy, but you can't possibly like kill a cactus. Right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It. It's easier than you, you killed think. It. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, oh, no. I didn't purposely kill a cactus, but I think I know what I did. I ignored it. You know, mm. I did. I ignored, I ignored the cactus. It. But I was so busy, and so I ended up giving her back the cactus, and she, she like, kind of... It came back? It came back. Yes. Oh, it never came back to me, though. <laughs> okay, oh okay. Um, but, How you know, is it doing? The cactus is doing fine. Okay. She was going on vacation and she like was going to come to my office like, can you? And she was like, mm. and she turned around and she went to somebody else to go look after her plant oh. while she was on vacation. Oh, it was the office plant. Well, it was a plant that was given to me because as a gift oh, and it was like, you can't possibly mess this up. Mm-hmm. I messed it up. So I gave it back. Happens sometimes. And I was like, oh, okay. I messed it up. Oh. I messed up the cactus. So. Be gentle with yourself mm-hmm. and your no, plant no, parents. You're not the only yeah, one. you gave it back. But I it's love fresh either. flowers, though. It's I not love just fresh you. Yes. It's yeah, not. I did it too. Uh-huh. I'm like, right. like, so I'm like, I'm like a, a baby plant one. mom. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's all but about they're cactus. Process. I didn't know. They are cactus. They're supposed to hold water and like you That's know. What like, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Little sprinkle here and there. That's what I thought. Yeah. No, but they, they were the baby ones. To. I didn't really. Mm-hmm. I think they were. I mean, they want to be clearly. <laughs> clearly, they want to be poured into. <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah. A little bit. But I want to know what are some good plants okay. to keep in your house mm-hmm. to freshen the air. Mm-hmm. Like you know, because you know, plants are supposed to be like good for keeping yeah. the air fresh around. I want. I want to get the pothos like that. Like get it like. To spread out through oh, my yeah. house. Oh, yep. I love seeing that, like on the trees going up mm-hmm. in the yard. Yes. Oh my. So, yes. so those, those are good. Yeah, yeah, those are good ones. What are they called? Uh, pothos. Okay. Pothos mm-hmm. or po- yeah. pothos. One of those. It's a scientific name. I will text it to okay. you. <laughs> I will text it to you. <laughs> um, like but another yellow. good one is snake plant, and that's really snake hard to plant. kill. It's hard to gonna, kill. That's what I was gonna say. And it's good for like positive energy in your yes. home too. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. What color? See, my, I need to. What color are the snake plants? Yeah. Um, they're they're kind of spiky mm-hmm. and they're green. flat. Yeah. Kind of. Shaped like this, like green, mm-hmm. coming up. Like green? They have like some striations in them mm-hmm. sometimes, mm-hmm. but they have different like versions of it. So some okay. are darker, some are lighter. Yes. But yes. snake plant, snake mm-hmm. it's hard to kill that one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Spider plant is mm-hmm. another one. Okay, I like um, spider, spider plant. Too. is low maintenance mm-hmm. and it only needs to see the sun. If mm-hmm. that makes sense, like it doesn't have to be in the sun. It just needs okay. to see it. Okay, I can to be that. able to. I think I can do that. Yeah, oh well. Inside. No, no, no. That's true. Yeah, okay. I just have my spider plant, whose name uh, Miles Morales, the amazing spider plant, <laughs> by the way, right? Like Spider Man. Okay. I love it. So <laughs> it's the brown Spider Man, y'all. Come on. And then, um, but he, my son named that plant. So um, he is a little temperamental. He doesn't like tap water. Like oh, you can't give them tap water. Yes, like because they, they have little folds. Like they cl- the leaves, mm-hmm. and, like they. Come out like this, but the thing on it will literally close when it's not okay. Yeah. And then when it's okay, it opens back oh up. You gotta listen to them. Yeah. They talk you to you. Them. Yes, you they're watch. plant babies. You know. Mm-hmm. This is like amazing to me. So it this is, is why I feel real. Oh my God. Like I'm just yeah. like in awe. Like <laughs> yeah. it's like a pet. It is though. It really is. But these yeah. ones like also give back to you because they're exactly. giving you oxygen exactly. and they're providing you yes. know a lighter environment. Yes. You know, brain science That's actually I mean. supports yes. that. Yes. Plants so in your environment help list. your brain. Yes. Yes. Send me a list of some great indoor plants that I can't mess up. Mm-hmm. Okay, yes. that would provide Hard me kill. with some great. Well, I must energy. also mention bamboo. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like bamboo. bamboo is a great. But see, so you got to tell me about bamboo because I'm gonna think of bamboo the same way I think of cactus. That. That'll be all right. 
So okay, bamboo well, yeah. is tricky, actually. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, my bad. No, 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 oh. no. It's good, but for me, my lucky bamboo is not so lucky. <laughs> what's so tricky about the bamboo? Okay. Well, can I say what's yeah, tricky? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Go ahead. So, please. I thought that you only have to water. Like, all I thought See, I said all they need is water. Right. 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 That's how but you, practice. you have to, they can't get too much sun, but they need enough. Mm -hmm. And then they may need soil, but they may not. Like, <laughs> right. <what? laughs> it's true. It's your plant. Yes. You have to figure out what your plant yes. needs. And bamboo does not like me. <laughs> okay. The other ones we rock with, we rock with hard. But and the sometimes is plants out of here. start to go because they're outgrowing the container that you That's have them true. in, that and you gotta replant them. Like mm -hmm. you gotta repot them. My, uh, they're so elderberry symbolic. Died. They are. You know, they are. everything like, is just symbolic. Like get a know. couple plants. Oh, oh, I, I, I might need they're to wait heavy. before I venture out into becoming a plant mom. <laughs> just pick when one. I have some time. Pick plant, maybe. Yeah. Okay. So if I had to pick one. One plant to put in my house right now as a baby plant mom as a baby plant mom now as a baby plant as a mom. baby plant mom plant. okay if you want to venture out ladies see this is this is all good talk because <laughs> yeah. we're talking about cleaning your space cleaning mm -hmm. your air getting you some good vibes that one plant that you must have in your house mm -hmm. I'm going to take it old school and do, do what my granny did and she had a whole room of those pot those plants they okay. are very very resilient okay. right they're okay. very forgiving too right. you okay. know if you do have a little you know a little we'll time away we'll from them then they'll you know they'll come back a little okay. bit easier a little grace and mercy a little grace and mercy mm -hmm. yeah. so okay. i can put them up like hi yes like yes if I have, you know in the kitchen where you have like the the shelf that's like above the cabinet mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they can survive up there they just need enough sun. Just make sure they have enough sun. Okay. Mm -hmm. My grandma used yes. to hang ours, so mm -hmm. I have one like hanging in the corner, like yeah. by the window, okay. and it just kind of flows okay. down. Okay, I'm liking this. Okay, so you yeah. think we can yeah. do this? Oh, yeah. like, I think we, we can, can do this. We need some pictures. <laughs> <laughs> All right. They're everywhere. Next week, I'm getting my, I'm getting my plans. We're gonna yeah. venture yeah. out, okay. okay, into the mama plant world mm -hmm. and see what comes of it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep y'all updated. I'm really gonna do this. So. I'm really, I'm really gonna do this. I'm gonna keep y'all updated. You can I do really good am. when you're committed. I like, am. I I'm gonna commit. Some potatoes. I grew some sweet potatoes. Did it was you? Great. Yes. But when I, I forgot about them, like it was, they they died. Yeah. They Aww. they they. I mean, they're hanging on a little bit. Like some of it is kind of hanging on. I'm They'll trying to come back. Fresh They'll come it, back. Like, send them love. Yeah. If you don't, mm -hmm. if you don't, you gotta love it. You gotta love That's it. That's what I'm coming to understand, <laughs> that I didn't love the cactus enough. Oh. I didn't talk to it. I just figured yeah. a little bit of water. I mean, it's mm -hmm. a cactus. Mm -hmm. the time. It's usually out in the desert by itself. Mm -hmm. Well, he's talking to it there, right? <laughs> yeah. So it's not like it's a domesticated plant. It's usually out in the desert. Mm -hmm. My bad cactus. My bad. <laughs> well, the first thing I ever cared for, ever, 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 was chives. Chives. Because all they need is water. You can, you can buy the chives from the store. Oh, tomorrow. Cut them, cut them, cut them, cut them, cut them, use them. Mm -hmm. Put them in water in a jar, in the sunlight, keep it watered, and you grow more chives. Yes. Oh, you know what? That's I how I have water. Yes. Hydroponic gardens. Yes, that's how I have my avocado gardens. plant and how I have my um, celery. Ooh, celery, celery for sure. Because mm -hmm. celery is easy too. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. They, they, they okay. regrow in just deal. water for mm -hmm. a while, for a while. Yes. Then they start to, you know, without they're not soil, only plant but... moms, they're veggie moms. Too. They're hydroponic. Yes. <laughs> Veggie plant <laughs> sustainability. Mason you know? Jarmon. Listen, because it's too expensive. It's getting more and more expensive. Can we Thank just talk grow about your own stuff? Yes. Yes. Grow yep. your own stuff. Mm -hmm. Yes. I just got my seeds, my mm -hmm. little soil pies. Like, uh, I'm about to refresh to. everything. Cause have to. French fries have been missing from the grocery store. Yeah. Not that Wait it's a minute. supposed There's a to French be fry, like, like potatoes have it. It's not the most healthy thing, but mm -hmm. when things like that go missing, it's, it, it yeah, this makes me think twice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. look, gas is prices are going up, so transportation <laughs> of food is going to go oh up, God. too. Gas goes That's up, everything. everything. Listen, everything I'm not up. kidding, y'all. <laughs> I went to go get gas the other day. That's it was like two days ago. And I'm pumping, pumping, pumping. And then I realized, I'm like, okay, I'm still pumping. If I was shit, I look oh, at it, goodness. and I'm realizing for a minute, because I'm like in a rush, I'm realizing in that second how much I'm paying right mm. now for this gas. Like I almost wanted to take it out of my car yes. and put it back in the <laughs> <laughs> like, like, Put this like, back on the shelf. Please, 
put this back, okay. I'll come back. Can I get a layaway plan? Oh my God. Right. I changed my mind. I, ch- I wanted to change my mind and just take it out of my car and put it back in the tank. Like, it was ridiculous. Listen. Like, is this, is this what we're doing now? Don't stress yourself out because what are you going to do? True. Pull up and get the gas. Yeah. I mean, I got the gas. $30. You gotta get the gas. I gotta get the gas. I feel gas. like it's extortion, though. It is. Well, absolutely. Among other things, <laughs> it seems to be among the soil. But I don't know. I felt some type of way about that gas, y'all. Yeah, I feel it. Yes, I'm having flashbacks to 2008. Was that oh, when the last time like, that we yes. had like five dollar gas? Yes. Ooh. $5 gas. It was $5? Oh, it was in Orlando, it was $5. Sheesh. The most not it, was harsh. <laughs> it was harsh on my wallet. Mm. Listen, it's harsh on my ears oh my right goodness. now. I, th- yeah. I think this is the first time I've seen $4 for the type of gas that I need mm. oh, in yeah. Florida. I can't. Well, in St. Pete, rather. Yeah. I can't. It's just too much. <laughs> it is too much. So, again, this is episode nine. Um, <laughs> I can't. Uh, we're talking women's health. We will be talking women's health on the nurses station. Mm-hmm. And of course, the nurses station is sponsored by the Bird Cares nonprofit organization. Dealing with the challenges of today requires problem solvers who can bring different perspectives and are willing to take risks. The Bird Cares emerged out of a pursuit to inspire and support the community and a desire for actions to speak louder than words. Established in 2017, they're an organization driven by progressive ideas bold action, and a strong foundation of support. The Bird Cares is dedicated to improving health outcomes in high-risk communities, one message and event at a time. Their mission is to inspire health and behavioral changes among families and communities through health promotion, target marketing, and education. Let the Bird Cares make your health messages, take your health messages from idea to reality. Um, if you or your company organization would like to sponsor um, the nurses station on my better living visit www.powerplugradio.com so you can find out exactly how you can do that um, we welcome this week a new member of the women of wellness and that is miss nicole lola benet houston um, yes thank you for that applause um, so we want to get into your business right now, okay. li- but literally <laughs> your real business. Mm-hmm. So tell us a little bit more about LBL um, Holistic Wellness. Sure, sure. Um, so LBL Holistic Health and Wellness uh, was founded in 2017. And um, I have been a holistic practitioner for over 12 years now. Um, I've been a licensed massage therapist since then. Um and essentially, my company is about having health and prosperity in the highest order. So we do have several um, services and goods for your mind, body, and spirit to make sure that you are as fit and well as possible, um, but also collectively. So we do have a couple of um opportunities for us to come together as community to uh, develop those skills and add to our wellness toolbox together. So um, for the body, we have uh, massage therapy. So as I said before, I'm a massage therapist. Um, For the mind, we actually have our Black Readers Group Book Club that meets every second Saturday of the month. Currently, right now, we're meeting via Zoom. Um, So wherever you are, you can participate because we read these books um, once a month and then we come together on the second Saturday of the month and we have a discussion about things that um, impact our health and wellness. Um, Just a little plug for our upcoming meeting, which is going to be on Saturday. We have been reading Dick Gregory's Natural Diet for Folks Who Eat. And um, it's by Dick Gregory, obviously. Um, I really love this book because he is hilarious and it's also still very relevant to um, some of the um, struggles that we have in our community, but also our transition from maybe some traditional diets that we have to a path of um, healing ourselves through the things that we ingest. So not just excuse me, not just uh, the foods that we eat, but also some of the things that we do and some of the uh, messages that we take into ourselves. So all of those things, um, it's 
a very interesting book. So we're going to have a discussion about it on Saturday. So I definitely encourage you, if you didn't get the book already, please get it. And then also it's um, on Audible. So if you don't have it yet, you still have time to read the book um, and, you know, come and join the discussion. If you haven't read the book, we still invite people to come and have the conversation with us because, again, it's very important. Um, and then, you know, you might be inspired to read the book at another time. Um, another service that we have is um, for our spirit. So I also do um, spiritual consultations um, at request. And then, um, like I said before, the communal wellness is actually our Wellness Warriors program, where on the fourth Saturday of each month, and times vary then, um, we have a discussion or an activity, a webinar or a class that helps us come together as a community and do an activity that is uh, applying some of the knowledge that we learned from our book club. So uh, this month being wellness uh, for nutrition month or nutritional wellness month. Um, that's why we're reading Dick Gregory. And then also on the fourth Saturday of the month, this month we have Nurse Shar who's gonna be talking to us about Nutrition 101. So she's gonna be sharing some information with us. Uh, the time I believe is at 11, mm -hmm. uh, the fourth Saturday. So those are some of the things that we have. Um, for more information, please yes, check out please. my website lblhhw.com so for more of the services updates and you can also follow us on social media we have instagram facebook and twitter so hey y'all so heard that lblhhw.com mm -hmm. you can find out about the services you can also find out um, about the upcoming book how to join the book club and how to tune into the wellness warriors um, webinars and classes every fourth Saturday, is it? Fourth Saturday of, of the month. Of the month. So tell us a little bit about, you know, as a woman and health and wellness, what do you think are some important issues for, for women and their, their wellness? Definitely. Um, there are so many. Um, <clears throat> and I know we kind of want to talk about a couple tonight, but one of the things that I wanted to share is about um, the work-life balance. Mm right, that we, we go through as women. Um, all of us here are women and mothers and entrepreneurs. So um, <laughs> there it takes a toll sometimes of all of the responsibilities that we have and all the ambitions that we have. Um, so making sure that we are first and foremost uh, prioritizing ourselves mm -hmm. and our own health and wellness because we can't keep going, mm -hmm. right, if mm -hmm. we don't actually intentionally take the pause and make sure that we are healthy and well and fit to keep doing the things that we do for ourselves and everybody else, the community, our families, the jobs, the other jobs, the, you know, businesses that we have. Um, so again, going back to the book club, one of the books that we actually read was the unapologetic guide to black mental health. Um, and this is by a, um, a black um, psychologist, Dr. Uh, Rita Walker. So I definitely recommend this book um, to help you to um, know a little bit about some of the mental health hygiene tips that you really need to have to maintain that balance. Mm -hmm. um, and then also just researching some of the local um, opportunities that are available to us. Um, Right across the street here, we're located in the deuces right now, but right across the street here is the Well for Life. Mm -hmm. um, so please, 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 ladies, make sure that you're prioritizing yourself. And if you need counseling or if you need a voice or if you need um, someone to listen, right, please take advantage of that. We we're talking before the show started about right. like that superwoman complex, mm -hmm. but we really need to make sure that we are taking the intentional time to like share mm -hmm. what we need to get off our chest so that we can, you know, reflect, pause mm -hmm. before we keep going. So those are some of the things that I wanted to talk about. Do you guys have any additional resources that we could share with folks about that work-life um, well, balance? Well, I want to share resources sitting next to me and that's Miss Latricia Ali who is a um, guided meditation and, and, you know, I love, and I'm going to let her talk just a lot about, you know, just how that helps with the busy schedule mm -hmm. and the taking time out because, you know, Latricia, you talk a lot about 
how that meditation is almost like a hug for your soul mm-hmm. and how it, it sort of helps like how does that benefit the busy businesswoman and the busy you know mom and you know like mm-hmm. someone who says i don't know when and how i can find time to do that how do they mm-hmm. make time okay so the first thing is that you don't need a lot of time mm-hmm. okay like literally 60 seconds if you can give your body one minute like anything that you give it to pause and just to be still is better than nothing at all mm-hmm. so you don't need a lot of time don't think that you need 30 minutes Try not to think that you even need complete silence because a lot of times you're not going to have that. Yes. And that's a part of the practice. Um, how well are you able to stay focused on your goal and your intention in spite of what's going on around you? Mm-hmm. So even the meditation in the midst of the noise is part of the training. Mm-hmm. So um, that's one of the things um, because we try to have our energy going a lot of different places. And I've heard like a woman's brain described as a bunch of different tabs open. On the <laughs> web, oh my right? God. So accurate. Oh my God. <laughs> it really is though. So. And all of them are in various stages of yeah. uploading. Yeah. Right. Right. A bunch of tabs. But the thing That's about meditation, one. it reminds you that you can only be looking at one tab at one time. Mm-hmm. Now, even if you split screen, and right. I know they have that, your attention can literally only go to one place at a time so i mean i've been reading and recently i've come to understand that even multitasking is a lie y'all yeah. okay <laughs> your energy like it's a part of the universal law with energy it yeah. can only go one place at a time you Why can't you divide it <laughs> Because we yes conditioning mm-hmm. yes, you've seen it happen. Who told us that? Well, right, take our it back. Eyes. Thank because you. as take children, it back. Yeah, right now, now. take it back. Now. Reclaiming our time, <laughs> claiming it. Right, <laughs> right. But we learn through seeing, just mm-hmm. as we tell people that children learn all the time. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that's the time we're most impressionable. So it's just there. Mm. So we think that you're supposed to be doing a lot of different things. We think you're just supposed to be busy. You're supposed to be stressed. You're supposed to be upset about it. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> and you're so supposed to be upset about it. We, we um, take all that on. So I think mm-hmm. we, we don't do it to ourselves on purpose. We just think that that's how it's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. Well, here's yeah. nine issues that um, this magazine, or actually Northwestern Medicine, Nine issues that every woman should understand. And for the most part, these issues are either women are predisposed to these health concerns or have higher risk for, um, you know, having these health concerns. Um, Heart disease, number one cause of death for women. Um, and, you know, they're always preaching to us about how to recognize signs of a heart attack because they differ, you know, from like a man having a heart attack. Stroke kills more women than men. Diabetes. It's not exclusive to women, um, but it does increase your chance of heart disease. As I mentioned, number one killer of women. Um, maternal health issues. Um, and, and yummy talked mm-hmm. a little bit about that. I call you yummy because mm-hmm. I mean, I keep looking down in this cup, hoping it'll like, you know, make more itself. Um, I'll bring more next time. But Yara, you know, Yara went into it a little bit last time she was here about maternal health issues, um, urinary tract infections. Mm-hmm. And you know what? I feel like urinary tract infections you know, are very important to women's health and very important for young yes. girls, young girls to know about urinary tract infection and about, um, you know, hygiene and stuff when yeah. it comes to um, UTIs, symptoms of UTIs and not letting it go unchecked. Sexual health, very important. I, yeah. I sat down with the Velvet Missionary a couple of weeks ago and we talked a little bit about sexual health, but understanding STIs, HPV, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, you know, really understanding how to protect yourself. I think, I think that is a great issue for women to understand Mm -hmm. about breast cancer. Yes. Um, you know, when you turn 40 and everybody turns 40 at some time, right? But when you turn 40, it's like a full woman, a whole new menu of options opens at the doctor's office, right? It's like you cracked some code and (laughs) congratulations. You now have how 
have about 10 other things that they must check. And, um, you know, mammograms become part of your life. And so at the age of 40, unless you have a family history, at which point they tell you to, you know, get checked sooner. But breast cancer, a very important issue. Can I say something? Women. Yes, ma'am. In the conversation of family history, check mm -hmm. the family recipes. Mm -hmm. Because yes. a lot of diseases aren't hereditary. It's the no. recipes that are. It's the, it's the habits. habits. It's the habits. Talk about it. Yes. Yes. Right? It's the habits. So check what you've been eating. Check mm -hmm. Because if everybody's had this illness, it may be because grandma had this blah, 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 and then she passed it down to this person, mm -hmm. and then everybody. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So... Check Good those point. things too, because yes. a lot of stuff isn't hereditary. It's just the decisions are hereditary. Mm -hmm. Exactly, yes. those habits, the choices. Yeah, yes. yes. agreed. Agreed. That's an excellent point. Um, osteoporosis and Alzheimer's disease round out the top nine issues. Um, but yummy, you. I keep calling you yummy. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I, I like yummy. Yummy works. I like yummy too. Right. Um. Yara, <laughs> um, you were here last time, and the last time you were here, you talked specifically about maternal health issues mm -hmm. um, as a major, you know, issue for women. So, can you touch on that and and talk a little bit of you know on this International Women's Day? Well, yeah. why maternal health is so important? Well, one of the one of the major goals in my life or one of the biggest dreams in my life was to be a mother. And for many women, they feel the same. Mm -hmm. And um, I was totally devastated when I was diagnosed with uh, polycystic ovary syndrome and endometriosis. At the same time. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I was having severe pain. I couldn't understand what was happening to me. And when I was describing it, one doctor looked at me like I was crazy. But it wasn't until they did like an ultrasound and they actually were able to do the imaging and see what was happening. And I had multiple cysts in my ovaries that mm -hmm. were causing severe pain. And I was literally like just pressing and holding on to my body when I would walk because it was so painful. Mm -hmm. So um, that and they, they just they told me it would be difficult to have children. They told me I would need ex different, ex extensive fertility treatment. Um, that it might not be possible, but I would need to start considering that sooner than later, um, even though I was 18, 19, wow. um, because it may not be a possibility later on if I waited too long. Mm -hmm. um, because those are not issues, those are not uh, disorders that are properly treated um, in a way that can be reversed. Um, they, they put bandages on it mm -hmm. um, in ways that actually increase the damage that's being done mm. to your body so next up is a hysterectomy mm. you know it, mm. it, it's it's moving you down the line so that they can make more money mm. it's not really trying to uh fix the problem so um that's a problem that many women are facing now and it's because of the foods that we're eating. Mm -hmm. Those habits, like we just talked about, are handed down to us. And we're consuming things that aren't necessarily the most nutritious for us. Um, they're not really elevating our bodies. They're not enhancing us. They're not replenishing us. So they're not building our bodies up in the way that we need them to. So if we already have a deficit of some kind, it's not, um, we're, we're not being balanced out mm -hmm. by, what we're, by what we're putting into our bodies, what uh, what's fueling us and our food's supposed to fuel us it's supposed yes. to heal us mm -hmm. and um once i started taking a look at what i was putting into my body removing certain things that were uh causing problems uh that were the unhealthy foods and started eating more healthy foods um i started feeling better and i started introducing herbs and once mm -hmm. i really got to establish a real regiment with including those in my diet and also learning my body you know, mm -hmm. tracking my cycle, mm -hmm. understanding my body and learning my body, feeling it and developing a real relationship with my myself so I could be in tune and know what I would need. Yeah. Um, that's that's really when that's when things started to take a turn mm -hmm. for the better, when mm -hmm. I could really start to be in tune with myself mm -hmm. and understanding what I need based on how I felt. Right. So incorporating the right foods is major 
And later on, I learned that it, it actually builds the hormones that well, are in your body. Tell a little bit about that because you said that yes. that was like a major yes. issue as to why yes. you was having it. the problems was the hormones. the hormones. Like what hormones were out of whack? So uh, you have estrogen in your body. Mm -hmm. You have testosterone in your body. Um, there are different chemicals that are in your body, hormones and chemicals that um, play a different role in how your body develops. So um, there's chemicals called progesterone, mm -hmm. there's androgens, there's different, uh, there, it's, it's a symphony, just mm -hmm. like, like a, a orchestra. You know, everything has to be in tune and it's many little parts, many little sounds put together. So the body's the same way and the hormones work the same way. So if it's out of balance, um, it's going to cause certain things to get out of whack. Mm -hmm. And if I'm not doing anything about it, if I'm not doing something to balance that out, then I'm causing the problem to get worse or I'm just allowing it to continue, you know, to, to get worse on its own. Mm -hmm. So for me, I was eating soy and lots of rice and things like apples and cherries and dates and things that were actually boosting estrogen levels in my body. So apples boost your estrogen feeding, level? Yes, and it was feeding I the fish. apples. Yes. So I started a estrogen-free mm -hmm. diet is what I call it. Um, just eliminating things that were increasing Jeez. those hormones mm -hmm. and doing things, uh, adding other herbs and foods that were helping to balance and increase the other levels in my body. So I like so maca powder. how did you know that apples and dates... Is there like an estrogen-free <laughs> diet manual out there? Like, how did you know that these were the foods um, that were triggering um, the issues that you had? Well, I started looking at everything that I was eating. Mm -hmm. And then, I, like I said before, like, I turned into, like, a biology nerd. Like, mm -hmm. I was just listening to lecture after lecture after lecture. And something just kind of, like, triggered. And I was like, okay, well... This is boosting these levels. And I heard different people talking about different foods that, you know, you should kind of stay away from. And then I started looking up, like, I have a whole list of, of the different foods that I was buying mm -hmm. because I was juicing. Like, I was getting yeah. large quantities of <laughs> these foods mm -hmm. on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. So for me, I'm thinking I'm being healthy, but it was increasing the problem. Mm -hmm. So uh, when I really sat down and evaluated it and seeing... Um, sometimes you do a Google search and say what foods help with this or what foods are bad for that or um, what foods increase estrogen levels or what foods um, increase testosterone levels. So in doing just like all that research, I just started eliminating different things and especially the soy because mm -hmm. that is a major um, disruptor, mm -hmm. major disruptor for the body. Agent. Yes. So mm -hmm. you get really inflamed and that was that was causing, you know, the pains with my cyst, with well, the cyst to develop and all the inflammation that I was having. And then the cycle being out of balance mm -hmm. because your hormones are not uh, in balance like they should be. So mm -hmm. your period's off, like your mine was like super short. It was it was not a good time mm -hmm. and it was very painful. Mm -hmm. So I have a short cycle and I'm going through all this pain all the time. I was highly motivated right. to, <laughs> to, to make pain. changes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I couldn't, I just, I couldn't live that way anymore. Mm -hmm. So incorporating the herbs and then studying nutrition and uh, learning how that really builds the hormones. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, fine. If it doesn't help me, I don't need it. I won't eat it except for the French fries. Except so. for the French fries. <laughs> And that's, that's like one of the things by. that I tell people, you know, when you're eating food and how food should make you feel mm -hmm. and, you know, differently than, you know, having like that emotional attachment to food. So like if you're feeling down, food will help you make you feel better. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about that, how that makes you feel. I'm talking mostly about how it makes you feel to eat good foods, meaning how your body feels, you know, yeah. afterwards, do you feel bloated? Do you feel tired? And those are the things like, you know, I had to really um, talk to myself and say, look, and I'm I, like, I've had it and I really need to go on a very strict restriction uh -huh. when it comes to glutinous foods, because 
I've, I've played with it long enough, and at this point, I know exactly what's going to happen to my body. And even when I don't know if there's gluten in it, I know as soon as you after mm -hmm. because I know, yes. like I'm already yes. there mm -hmm. where I'm recognizing how it makes me feel, and I don't like how it mm -hmm. makes me feel. So I have to be very, very, very intentional mm -hmm. and very specific about keeping those things out yes. of my diet. It's going to be hard. Yeah. Well, I'm right um, there with you. I just don't like, I'm like, like you said, I'm highly motivated at this mm -hmm. point um, because I'm like, okay, I know exactly what's going to happen. I don't like the way it feels. Yes, you want to feel done. good. You mm -hmm. want to feel good. I have the same issue. I have a sensitivity to gluten. Mm -hmm. So I've eliminated all of that from my diet. Mm -hmm. And my father actually saw a reaction to eating a pancake. Mm -hmm. And the next time I was at his house, <laughs> and I looked like I was about to get a pancake. Oh, he gave it to me. <laughs> he was like, you are out of your mind. <laughs> That's the definition of insanity. Why would yes. you go through that again? Yes. Yes. He's like, I'm not like, want okay, to do you know that. what, you're right. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <'cause laughs> it's very bad. Awesome. I yeah. should do something about this. Mm -hmm. So, you know what, just at first it's it, there's choice. lots of options. Right. And you make it yeah. a good time. Yeah. Yes. You know, you mm -hmm. find your, your things that are treats, that are replacements, yeah. that aren't mm -hmm. necessarily like a a replacement but like it's your new thing that you love mm -hmm. like right. you know your your strawberries and your your coconut whipped cream like mm -hmm. that's always I awesome mean, i feel like i gotta give up apples now mm. well you know what i really like you can apples. Have berries. i like berries there's I like lots berries. of other fruit there's there lots of other fruit. ton of other options so you're trying to tell me i'm not gonna miss the apples you will not miss apples she said I won't you can miss have apples. sugar apples but it, it's not the same but what is sugar apples it's got an apple name <laughs> but not really apples no oh see but it's a fruit that's really good for you it's called it's, sugar it's apples it's very healthy for you what does it look like a baby cactus no. <laughs> oh I know what you're talking about without the spike but we call it another like name ball. I, know, I know what you're talking about yeah it does look like a baby cactus good description mm. I know what you're talking about but we call it like something else um what do you think Latricia what, what do you think is like a a, a a hot button issue for you when it comes to women's health. I don't know. This, that's okay. That's not considered women's health, and that is actually very controversial. So okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll circle back another time. Yeah, we want to circle back. I want to hear what it is now. now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I'll, I'll say the first part. Um, the first two things do not surprise me at all. Mm -hmm. Because those are worry diseases, mm. yes. like more than food diseases. Yeah. And women are worriers yes. by yes. tradition, mm -hmm. really, mm -hmm. right? yeah. because nobody is a worrier, like for sure. Like nobody is supposed to be, mm -hmm. right? But then like women have, they worry about this, the children, the family, the okay. house, the blah, 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 the mental the time of the month the mm -hmm. blah, blah blah like it's a lot that all women have to mm -hmm. all of them. bunch of tasks right <laughs> right all of them at the same time so you know I, the heart disease and stroke those are really worry diseases those mm -hmm. are mind diseases mm -hmm. and i say that because you can cure them with your mind mm -hmm. so you know that's mm -hmm. what i think yeah I agree with mm -hmm. you. Um, mm -hmm. I think, you know, diabetes being on this list is very concerning. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's not concerning mm -hmm. I, like I almost ex expect it, but I do agree that it is an issue that women, because you're right, you know, when you're so busy being busy, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes, you know, and I, I tell people, there's a lot of things out there that, you know, people are like, oh, if I had cancer, or, oh, if I had this, and I'm like, my thing is diabetes is such a, it's such a sucky, like, disease. Mm -hmm, it's such a mm -hmm. sucky chronic disease because mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. really just strips away at you slowly, you know, mm -hmm, strips mm -hmm. away at your blood yeah. vessels, just strips away at just a lot of things mm -hmm. when you have so much um, glucose or blood sugar rolling around in your stream. It's just mm -hmm. not a good thing for you. And, you know, I, I would put that on the list of probably the worry diseases well, mm -hmm. only because um, when we're stressed, um, our cortisol levels go up. Mm -hmm. When your cortisol levels go up, um, it's really like a response. It's supposed to help protect you. It's supposed to help protect your body. Um, so that cortisol, what it does is make you absorb more fat. 
it creates that wonderful lifesaver <laughs> that is just automatically built to your body around the middle section. But it also increases your risk of when you have um, more weight, especially around your midsection, it does increase your risk of diabetes. It does um, increase your risk of insulin resistance. Um, which is another hormone that, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. PCOS that um, yep. involves insulin resistance. Yep. There's yeah. a lot of things that can lead to insulin resistance, but stress yeah. Yeah. is one of those things because, um, yeah, it creates just extra cortisol mm. that you really just yeah. don't need. Yeah. That's a perspective that I hadn't considered. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The way, uh, the way I was thinking of it is that diabetes also is from the food because Absolutely. women are just trying to keep going right, right? Yes. so sometimes if you're not meal planning or if you don't mm -hmm. have time or the place or the money you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying to find you know food that'll be best for the body you're mm -hmm. just going to get something right exactly. if you have soccer practice and karate then this shot has yes. this shot has oh there's checkers in the middle there's mcdonald's in the middle there's mm -hmm. burger king there's mm -hmm. stuff you know yeah. what i mean mm -hmm. so also him being busy and on the go mm -hmm. as you were saying i think that contributes to the diabetes a lot as mm -hmm. well absolutely yeah. Agreed. Yes, yeah. and see, that's why I started doing smoothies in the first place. Mm -hmm. I started doing juicing first, and that was just taking up a lot of time and a lot of cleaning, a lot of parts and everything. Mm -hmm. But and I felt like I was wasting my money because all the fiber was going all away. The, yes. I need to be full. Yeah, all I need of the to feel products. my money was, was like, lasting. Girl. But, <laughs> but the smoothies, that's a good way to get like all your ingredients mm -hmm. in. I call mm -hmm. it like my, my cheat for getting in the goodness. Mm -hmm. right? I can put all the good yes. stuff in. I can put all the different powders in, mm -hmm. all my herbs, my maca powder, my mm -hmm. camu powder, I throw my sea moss in, mm -hmm. I can put my greens in, mm -hmm. you know, everything that I need that can power me up and balance my body mm -hmm. right in my smoothie. Right. And I can run out the door with it mm -hmm. with a straw and yep. while I'm driving down yes. the road, I can mm -hmm. sip on my breakfast, yes. my lunch, my whatever it is. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Smoothie yeah. dinner. Yes. 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 Lunch yes. and dinner. Oh my yeah. God. Liquid fasting. So we know real. smoothie dinner in my house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. <laughs> Before All we get out of here today, um, My Better Living is teaming up with the nonprofit She Wins Totally for a 21 day challenge that starts on March 10th. So, in celebration of Women's Month and Nutritional Awareness Month, March 10th marks the start of the 21 day challenge. So it would be March 10th through March 31st. Okay. That is 21 days. That is three weeks. Three weeks are the, is the time period that you need to either break mm -hmm. a bad habit or start a new habit. Mm -hmm. So committing yourself to something for three weeks is March. And we've been talking about this since January. You know, I know a lot of people have been on their health and wellness kick and the new year, new me. I hope you guys are still in the gym or I hope you guys are still doing whatever you set your mind to do at the beginning of the year. If you haven't, if you fell off the train or whatever, now's a perfect time um, to get back on there. She Wins Totally is a um, group on Facebook that you can join great motivational information and for 21 days you'll get great tips great information and periodically i forget how many days but um there'll be a woman that'll go live at 7 30 on certain days to kind of give some information and give some um um really some inspirational words and some tips so i just want to ask each of you quickly um what would be like something if somebody was out there and said okay if i had three weeks to focus on something what should i focus on yara planning out being intentional with what mm -hmm. you're eating planning planning more with your meals planning out your snacks because you're going to be on the go so mm -hmm. When you're going grocery shopping, before you go grocery shopping, even if you got to take a break in the parking lot, jot it down real quick, map it out. So that way you have good options. If you only have good options, then you're setting yourself up for success. And that's a great way to develop that habit. Yeah. If you can do that through that 21 days, you're in there. So 21 days of planning your meals. Latricia, 21 days. What would be something great to, to do? 21, 21 days. days of stillness. 21 days. Be still oh, yeah. for five minutes a day and just literally breathe. 
I think I can handle five minutes. Mm -hmm. five I think minutes. I think everyone can handle five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes of stillness a day for 21 mm -hmm. days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Breathing. I mean, absolute yeah. stillness. Don't oh, check yeah. nothing. Don't mm -hmm. look at, just close your eyes and go in your mind to the place you want to be. Mm. And do, I love that. Visualize what you want for five minutes. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that. Lola, what are we doing? Okay, days. so for 21 days, I think um, mine is more like individualized for the person. But um, in your reflection, I would also ask people to challenge themselves. So say something positive about themselves and then whatever comes up that negates that, right? Mm -hmm. Write that down and then have an opposing statement for whatever that opposition mm -hmm. to your... Um, encouragement is right and then have those statements um said to yourself in the mirror for 21 days so you are negating your ne negative self-talk like and you're you. reprogramming those negative um uh negative self images that you might have or negative self uh comments that you may have mm -hmm. towards a positive light so we're reprogramming our brain for 21 days to say positive messages about ourselves i like I would say my thing for 21 days, and this is so basic, but so very, very vital and important. I think that everyone should drink one extra bottle of water a day. I like that. Yes. Just mm, one extra <laughs> bottle of water a yes, day is so, so mm -hmm. important to stay hydrated, mm -hmm. especially as you're staying busy. Yes. Um, you know, really just... You know, I think that people underestimate how good water is. You know, and we used to joke when you were younger, if something, your belly's hurting, go drink some water. Or they, I'm hungry, go drink some water. Okay. But seriously mm -hmm. and truthfully, water is, is just oh a good cleansing yes. mechanism. Yes. Exactly. Clean cleansing. out your sense of, yes. clean out your system, detox your organs, mm -hmm. everything. I mean, even teas, the teas yeah. that we talk about. Mm -hmm. yeah. You got to make them with water. Mm -hmm. So. I would say just drinking an extra bottle of water. Water, water has Overset. no enemies. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Make, it water. Make it fun. Add like some that. fruit. Yes. Add some add oranges. Some add some lemons. Yeah. Yeah. Like Eat like your, your water. Like yes. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Watermelon. Yeah. Watermelon. Yeah. Watermelon. Yes. Yes. I like it. Celery. Mm-hmm. This has been episode nine. We had such a wonderful time. Um, Lola and Yara will join us again next month. I don't know what the topic is, but we're going to continue this month talking about you are what you eat. You can follow me, Nurse Char, on IG or Twitter at Nurse Char RN. And you can also catch out My Better Living on YouTube and Facebook. Thank you to the sponsor, The Bird Cares. We will see you next week. Tuesday, 8.30, right here on Power Plug Radio. You're listening to Power Plug Radio. Home of your throwback jams. My Better Living. Spend some time with Nurse Shar for honest and healing conversation about the benefits, challenges, and real-life struggles of living healthy, well, fit, and free. Real discussion for real people who want real change. My Better Living. This podcast is being broadcast on Power Plug Radio, home of your throwback jams. You can download Power Plug Radio app on Google Play or the Apple iStore. Don't forget to subscribe to the Power Plug Radio YouTube, where you can catch My Better Living live every Tuesday night. And visit www.powerplugradio.com to find out how you can sponsor the next episode.